to um, introduce the speaker. So our first speaker is Sam from Thirsty IT, and Sam will introduce himself. Ooh, that's Fantastic. Thanks, Elizabeth. Uh, let me just work out how to maximize this one. Can everyone see my screen at the moment? I might just leave it at that. Let's have a go. Okay, so yeah, great. Thanks, thanks very much for everyone at Rob for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Uh, basically, I wanted to talk particularly about this uh, topic being uh, seven ways to make your digital footprint stand out. Basically, um, obviously I'm, I'm a web designer, but I'm really keen for people out there to take advantage of all the tools that are available to really make their business um, kind of pop online, basically. So um, first, I'll just briefly talk a bit about what Thirsty IT is. Thirsty IT is, um, Basically, it's my web design business. Uh, basically, as I just said, I'm all about helping busy business owners make their digital footprint stand out. Um, uh, I'm a sole trader. Uh, I specialize in web design. Most of my uh, sites are built on, on WordPress, which is a content management system. Um, basically, I find it has a solution for most web problems. Um, I've been running my business for about two years now. Um, so, I guess the question, the question I'm really trying to answer today is how do you make your web presence stand out? Um, and I've got seven ways here of that anybody can, can get their web presence up and running and really get their business um, looking good online. So first one of these is a really simple one and that's, that's basically to have a web presence. It's as simple as that. If you're not online, you're not online. Um, it might sound like a really obvious statement to start with, but basically, a huge proportion of small businesses don't have a website. Um, I've quoted these stats before, but the stats run something like an incredible 59% of small businesses don't have a website and even, even a higher number in reached regional Australia. Um, contrast this uh, stat of about 60% don't have, have a website against, um, there's a staggering 62% of customers will stop considering a business if they can't find information about it online. Um, definitely doesn't add up. So basically, you've got the majority of people are looking online for a business, and but then again, the majority of small businesses don't actually have an online presence. So if you don't have an online presence, I know pretty much everyone in this group does, but if you know someone out there that doesn't have an online presence, they need to have one if they're a small business or a medium business or, or a large business for that matter. Um, now, my second tip is to 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 utilise the power of Google. Now. Google can definitely be your friend. Uh, Google has a number of free features. The obvious one, which is search, which I'm assuming most of you will use every day. Um, but another one, I, I, and again, Chris talked about this earlier today, is basically Google My Business. Um, Google My Business is basically a free verified listing which you can use to improve the online legitimacy of your business. It's kind of like a, a free yellow pages listing. Um, You'll have seen the results the last time you searched a business on Google. They typically appear on the, the right-hand side of a desktop screen. You can see there I've got mine. Um, that's what my Google My Business looks like. It, it's a pretty, very easy thing to set up. Uh, you just need to go through a bit of a verification process with Google just to prove that you are who you are. And um, you, you need to get this set up if you're um, basically wanting to, to have a, an online presence, basically. Um, yeah. So now the next, the next tip is... Basically, the, what I describe as the entry level of a website, basically, um, and it's what I like to describe as a, a, a business card website. Um, basically, this can be built on any platform such as WordPress, um, Squarespace or Wix or any, any of many other um, web platforms. Uh, basically, these sites um, prove that you exist and give you your own piece of digital real estate where you can control the message that is going out to your potential customers. Typically, a site like this might have three to 10 major pages, um, including at a minimum a, a home page, uh, an about page, and a contact page as, a, as, a, as, as basically a start. Now, the next one is again, and I'm keen to talk about Google again, basically ranking on Google. I know this is not a specifically a thirsty IT area, but there's a lot of things you can do with your website to actually try and get yourself moved up the Google rankings, which in bit, basically, um, moving up the Google rankings means that you're going to get more traffic to your site and potentially more customers. Um, so basically 
one way to get yourself moved up the rankings and this is a very simplified i suppose but the more words and the more content you have on your site basically this can generally improve your google page ranking and this means that slowly you'll move up the google rankings and basically that means more traffic more eyeballs on your business uh, wordpress which i normally use is is great for blog posts um, which if you pick, pick a topic with a relevant keyword, keywords can be a great way to improve your site's SEO ranking. Okay. So the next one is e-commerce. Um, if you have any physical products as part of your business, e.g. something like t-shirts or gym equipment or water bottles or any of these sort of medium, small to medium kind of expensive goods that can be sold and, and sent online, uh, basically, there, there's never been a better time to get online and move your shop front to the internet. Corona has driven e-commerce through the roof in recent months, and it's estimated that e-commerce will reach uh, an, an enormous number, which is $4.5 trillion in 2021. Um, if you have an e-commerce website, you can avoid some of the fees that big online retailers such as eBay and Amazon levy as well as giving you full control over the marketing of your site. Um, E-commerce is actually something I've done with Thirsty IT before, and it really, it really does work well for customers. If, if you have an, a physical product, you, you really need an e-commerce store. Um, it, it's, just a, it's just a no brainer and a great way to get, you, get your products out there. Okay, so uh, my sixth tip is basically, the web, your web needs to be the center of, of your marketing hub. Basically, think, Think of your website, yeah, as, as the center of your marketing hub. A website is media that is owned by you and you can direct traffic to it from other sources such as social media or from search. Uh, the benefit of owned media is that you have some complete control over the message you portray on it and it removes some of the competition and distractions that are available. When, when you've got a captive audience on your site, um, basically you, you can control what's displayed to them and Basically, the, the name of the game is to keep people on your content. So you really want to engaging, engaging web content uh, and a good user experience and all those sort of things that um, make, make for a good website. Okay. Oh, one minute. Okay, cool. Um, all right, now I'll, I'll go through these ones quickly. Basically, websites are a great way to, to get leads. Um, basically, it's a bit of a kind of the El Dorado of a website is basically becomes your 24 seven sales agent. And um, websites are a fantastic way to, to basically drive traffic to your website, uh, get leads uh, in the form of maybe an email address in exchange for perhaps for a lead magnet such as an ebook. Uh, I won't go too much further into that, but websites are great for lead generation. And the last one I wanted to talk about um, is basically some of the free tools that are out there. Think of things like Canva, which is great for graphic design. This presentation has been made on Canva. Uh, Calendly, which is great for uh, booking uh, clients in, in, into your calendar, just making life easy, or MailChimp to, uh, to send emails out to a subscription list. Um, just a quick one on COVID, because I know Chris mentioned that earlier. Um, it's, a, it's a great time, if you, if you have a website and you're not sure how to update it, um, it's a great time to maybe make a message about what, what you're doing with COVID or um, whether, whether you're open for business. Okay, so that'll, that'll do me. Thanks, Sam from Thirsty Update. So.